Hey everyone, Attorney Matthew Legan Sanchez here. Today, let's talk about the Kinship Guardianship Act in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Any adult can file for guardianship, but you're gonna need to show one of three things. You're gonna need to show that the parent approves in writing, or that the child has lived with you for 90 consecutive days before the petition is filed, or that the parent's rights or have been suspended or terminated. When you can show one of those three things, you're also going to need to demonstrate that the parent is unwilling or unable to provide adequate care, safety, and maintenance for the child. When you can show those by clear and convincing evidence, the court can appoint you as the child's guardian. What happens when parents do not approve is that you're gonna have to go to court. It's going to be contested. The judge is going to hear the evidence and is going to determine if by clear and convincing evidence, the parents are unfit to properly care for the child. If you can show that by clear and convincing evidence, then the court is going to grant you temporary guardianship. They're gonna get a guardian ad litem involved. And the guardian ad litem is an attorney that represents the child. They're gonna do an interview. They're gonna speak with family members and collateral sources. And they're gonna determine if it's in the child's best interest for you to be appointed guardianship. And usually you're gonna be appointed temporary guardianship. It's gonna be for 180 days. So the guardian ad litem can complete their investigation and make recommendations to the judge. A guardian ad litem is going to be appointed in your case when the case is contested. This guardian ad litem represents the child's best interest. They're gonna do an investigation. They're gonna speak with all the individuals involved. They're gonna probably do a home visit. They're gonna to get to the bottom of all the facts and they're gonna then report back to the judge and let your judge know what's in the child's best interest because ultimately it's about the child and what is in the child's best interest regarding guardianship. To revoke guardianship, you're going to need to file a motion to revoke guardianship. In the motion, you're going to need to state that there's been a material change in circumstance since guardianship was appointed. You're going to need to suggest a transition plan. You're going to bring it before the court. The court's going to hear all of the evidence and then they're going to determine if there's been a material change in circumstance and if it's in the child's best interest to be placed back with the parents and taken from the guardian ad litem. At that point, they would revoke the guardianship and the parents would step back into the shoes of having full parental rights. The court can possibly grant um, guardianship, some sort of time sharing, but the parents would assume legal rights at that point. Do you still have questions? If so, take a look at the website. There's gonna be specific questions and answers that are gonna be answered. There's gonna be an FAQ section with detailed answers to specific questions. And if those don't answer your questions, then speak with me. Talk to attorney Matthew Legan Sanchez. I'll listen to your specific case. I'll hear the facts of your case, how it aligns with New Mexico law, and we'll get to the bottom of things.